here are the constructions for assignment number 16. For number one, we want to construct PQ perpendicular to AB. So I want to construct a perpendicular that goes through the point P. So I'm going to put my compass point on P and draw an arc that intersects AB. By drawing this arc, I create two endpoints of a segment where each endpoint is equidistant to the point P. Therefore, P will be on the perpendicular bisector. So I'm going to construct the perpendicular bisector of the segment I created with the arcs. I'm going to line it up and it says line segment PQ, so I don't want to go past P. So there's the segment P and we'll make this point Q, line segment. Okay, for number two, we want to construct line segment TS, where TS is perpendicular to the line LM. So if you notice, this is in number one, this is just the line AB. The point A and the point B have nothing to do with my construction. So same thing over here, the, the point L and M don't have anything to do with my construction. They just name the line that I want to be perpendicular to. So I'm going to put my compass point on T, draw an arc that intersects the line LM twice. If we take a look, I need to extend the line LM a little bit further. And then I want to, to construct the perpendicular bisector of the segment I created with the arc. So put the compass point on one endpoint. And we're going to draw an arc, turn it around, draw an arc, and again we want the line segment TS, so I don't want to go past T, and name the other end point S. Okay, now for number three, I want to construct ray PQ, so I'm going to start at P and go in one direction towards Q and I want it to be perpendicular to PR. So that means that they both share point P. So at point P is where I want to construct my perpendicular. So that means that P needs to be the midpoint of a segment. Okay, so I create the segment where it's the midpoint, where I go the same direction above and below P, and then I'm going to construct the perpendicular bisector of that segment. Okay, now remember I want it to be ray PQ, so we want to line it up and only go in one direction Okay, you could have chosen the other direction if you want, but there we go. Those are the first three constructions. Now we're going to take a look at number five. It says construct a square W X, Y, Z with all sides equal to A, B. So I'm going to first go ahead and measure out A, B because I know I'm going to be using it. All right, a little bit longer. All right, now I'm going to go to a blank piece of paper. Okay. This is number five. We didn't have a number four. So I'm going to start off by just drawing a segment. Okay, and then I'm going to measure out the length of AB. So here's one corner. Here's my next corner. So as we go around, this square is W, X, and I need to find Y and Z. Now, a square has all equal sides and right angles at the corners. So what I want to do is I want to have a 90 degree angle here, so I need to create the bisector of a segment where X is the midpoint. So to create X the midpoint of a segment, I'm gonna go the same direction or the same spacing to the right, same spacing to the left, and then I'm going to bisect the segment I just created. Whenever we construct 90 degrees, I should always see these arcs. Now, X is my corner, so I don't need to go above X with my segment, but I do want to go below. So I'm going to line up all three points, and there we go. 
So I've got a 90 degree corner. Now I want to measure out the length of the side again. So from W to X, and I'm going to transfer it down. And that's the next corner. This is going to be Y, and all I have left is to find Z. So I need another 90 degree corner. So Y needs to be the midpoint of a segment, same distance above and below Y, and then we're going to construct the bisector so that we get the right angle. Line it up. All right, last thing is I need to grab the length of my side. I'm going to transfer the length over here. This is my fourth corner, Z. So all I have to do is connect my first corner with my last corner. And there I have square W, X, Y, Z. Whenever we name something, we want to make sure that we go around the vertices in whatever order they give us. Number six, we want to construct rectangle PQRS with PQ equal to AB and QR equal to 2AB. So for number six, we're going to start off with a segment. I know that from the previous problem, we used AB as the side length, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab it from number five. So here's the length of AB. So my rectangle is going to be PQRS. So here's the first point P, and here's the second point Q, where the length of PQ is equal to the length of AB. So we've got that covered. Now I need a right angle at Q. So I'm going to make Q the midpoint of a segment. And then I'm going to create the perpendicular bisector of that segment so that I have 90 degrees. I want to line up my straight edge. And I'm going to draw in my segment. Now we want QR, which is this next side, to be equal to 2AB. So I'm going to go ahead and measure out the length of AB, which is the same as PQ. And then I'm going to transfer that onto the segment I have here. So as you can see, we need to extend it a little bit further. Okay, so here is the next corner at R. So we have PQ equal to AB and then QR equal to 2AB. Now I need another right angle at R. So we want R to be the midpoint of a segment and then I'm going to bisect that segment, line up my ruler, all right, and the last thing I need to do is measure out the length of my last side, so here's the length of AB, and we're going to transfer it on. So here's the last corner, S. And then we're just going to go ahead and connect P and S. Once you have the location of all four corners, you don't have to do any more right angle constructions. Okay, so that was number six. Number seven, we want to copy angle A onto our paper and then construct the, construct the complement of A. All right. 
So for number seven, we're going to start off with the side of an angle. Then I'm going to grab my paper and I want to copy angle A. So the very first thing I do is I draw an arc across the angle so that I know where I'm measuring the width. We're going to transfer that same arc onto my duplicate. Then I'm going to go back to angle A and measure across the angle at the arc. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to transfer it onto my copy. So here is angle A. Okay, now the complement of A, remember that complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So that means that if I construct a perpendicular coming out of the vertex at A, the angle that would be created over in this space would then be the complement of A because it would be A plus this angle equal 90 degrees. So in order to do that, I want to extend the first side of A a little further and then I'm going to construct a perpendicular at the vertex of A. So I'm going to go ahead and Make sure that that vertex is the midpoint. So I'm going to just do the same arc again. Okay, and then I want to construct the perpendicular bisector of this segment so that we get the right angle. Line it up. All right. So there we see right here, this purple angle is the complement of A. So here is angle A, and this is the complement of A. All right, guys, hope this helps.